every day we might be doing something that we don't know is causing damage to our bodies. One of those things is using cotton swabs in our ears. Joining us to talk about the great Q-tip debate is Fox News Medical Team's Dina Santofani. Good morning, Dina. Hi, good morning. This is one of those things that people say, I can't imagine not using um, a cotton swab if we don't want to if we don't want to be brand specific. But, you know, it's kind of the morning routine for many people and we're not supposed to be doing it at all. Uh, so what's the problem? What's the big deal? Recently, I talked to a doctor, an ear expert. He said, um, let me explain to you this way. So take a listen. So wax is produced in the ear canal. Yeah. And so most people, wax is produced and comes out on its own. Mm -hmm. Some people take big pieces of cotton and push them in this direction. Yeah. You don't have to be Isaac Newton to understand if there's wax here and you're pushing cotton in that direction that the wax will probably go in the wrong direction. Well oh, man. So oh, ear wax actually guys as you know we think it's kind of gross it's actually good it's that barrier that protects bad stuff from getting into our ear canal into our eardrum keeps bacteria out viruses dust all those things so earwax has a job to do doctor tells me that most people the earwax will come out on its own which seems hard to believe now another thing to keep in mind is as we are attempting to clean our ears with the q-tip or the cotton swab we might be making the problem worse by packing it in tight so if we let nature take its course the wax sheds naturally our ears are healthy and we have no problems and I'm sure it's hard it's, to do though yeah now especially these days since uh, many of us really we've got Air, air, at least I do, you know, we've got our earpiece, you and I, we work in television, and then in addition to that, yeah. I've always got my, uh, my AirPods in my ear. I mean, I'm attached yeah. to those things. It's worse than a phone. Well, and that's just it. You feel like you want to get in there and, and clean your ear. Now, if you, if you feel like your ears are blocked, doctors will say the best thing to do is to make an ear cleaning appointment with an ENT, and they can professionally take care of if you feel like you have lots of compacted wax. But the more you are putting these in your ears, I feel so hypocritical saying all of this because I, I, I'm going to have to go on a program to, you know, get get rid of these get these out of my life. But the more that you put these in your ear, you might be making the problem worse. Now you're not alone, Dina. Um, I I have a little container of of, uh, of Q-tips, cotton swabs, right there on my vanity after after a shower every morning. It's it's a it's a hard habit to break. I mean, we're going to have to start some kind of support group. <laughs> but it does, get, it, it does get, uh, you know, after talking to that doctor, I said, I got to share this because so many of us are doing this and maybe just with that nugget of knowledge, maybe we will be uh, more resistant to yeah. using Q-tips. We'll think twice about it, be a little more gentle with yeah. our ears. Dina, thank you so much. It's always great talking to you. Have a good day. Thank you.